Kathleen Kennedy, Lucasfilm, and Pablo Adago have done it again. We thought we had covered this topic completely. We would now wait on the rest of the Gina Carano files to land, or perhaps there would be another tweet that would reveal more about what Lucasfilm had been up to after they have been decimated by various reports in South Park. But wait no more, because ladies and gentlemen, Pablo Adalgo, one of the major executives at Lucasfilm, has stepped into the ring. He's put out a tweet, and it may have greater ramifications for Kathleen Kennedy and for Lucasfilm than perhaps he understood. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another fantastic video here on the WDW Pro Channel. What a joy it is to have all of you joining us. And we are joined today by Tommy Tables, and we've got Nolan Thunder here. Gentlemen, welcome. Hello. Hello. Happy to have both of you here, and uh, Nolan, this is your first time on a uh, standard non-member exclusive video. But folks, if you are a member of the channel, you can listen in to an exclusive members-only interview with Nolan. I think it'll be fantastic and interesting. Let's dive into this article, though, for now. Rumor, nuclear bomb full of emails and notes detailing Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm Story Group's disgusting behavior to be released. And this is, of course, by John F. Trent. It says, in the wake of Gina Carano putting Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm on blast, a new rumor details that a nuclear bomb of emails and notes about Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm Story Group members revealing their bad behavior will be made public in the near future. Now, folks, I do want to say that there have been some out there who have tried to tie this in to John Favreau and Bob Iger, and I'm just here to tell you that's a bunch of utter nonsense. Uh, we know where we know where this started. It started on uh, Culture Casino's YouTube channel, and we know who said it. And uh, we're going to cover this because it's in the article, and then we're going to be moving along. But uh, suffice to say, we know where this rumor comes from. We know the connection that is there. We're not claiming to have inside information. But we can assure you this is not tied to Bob Iger or to John Favreau or any other sort of conspiratorial nonsense. Although there is probably some conspiracy being alleged inside of these emails. That's a different story. Uh, the rumor comes in the wake of Kathleen Kennedy being lampooned by South Park and recent comments by Gina Carano summarizing how Kennedy treated her when she was fired from The Mandalorian. Gentlemen, I want to go to you now before we read any further. Um, you know, we, we've talked about in the past on this channel how South Park really opened the door. And uh, it seems to me that the criticism now, they're, they're just sort of the floodgates have opened. And Gina Carano is just one aspect of this. Do you guys feel that South Park really made it viable now for people to bring the criticisms against Kathleen Kennedy the way that they have? Absolutely. Like, Kathleen Kennedy was nowhere near on the radar of most normal people out there. Most people who are really into learning about who she even was. She wasn't like a commonly known name, like a George Lucas or a Steven Spielberg. Kathleen Kennedy was a bit more obscure. Usually when people complain about, say, Disney Star Wars or Marvel or something like that, they'll usually just say the name of the corporate entity, like a Disney or a Marvel. South Park really opened up the floodgates for her, and they had been saying it for years, and they had really been suppressing the knowledge for years about like just how much backlash there were against these movies. And you saw that all the way back in like the late 90s with, of course, like the Phantom Menace and stuff, like the toxic side of any fan base and such. But it, the thing about that was all the merchandise still sold, and there were still a lot of people that liked those movies. The thing is with the sequels is there's been a lot and i mean a lot of hush hush about like all the backlash going on with it and now with south park bringing into the public eye there's no hiding it anymore the man behind the curtain has been revealed so to speak or in this case the woman and it's just not a good eye for her and i don't think she's gonna get out this it just with a perfect resume i mean would you want to retire after this sort of thing happening to you well, you know, it's not it's not good for her. Tommy, your thought? Well, I mean, I just wrote an article about this actually on thatparkplace.com where I said that when you get onto the radar of South Park, you've basically reached the summit of YouTube critics, I suppose. And I, I'm aware that South Park existed before YouTube did, but I view them as being sort of the the people who laid the foundation for the commentariat, so to speak. And so once you've reached that summit, 
like I said in my article, Cartman is there to kick you off the other side. And I really feel that this was a sea change. Like this, the the importance of that particular South Park episode cannot be overstated. I really th think we're going to be seeing um, a shift in the pendulum. I think we're going to start seeing things kind of revert back to the mean. And I think that especially when it comes to Disney and Kathleen Kennedy, you're right. The floodgates are open. It, it's like we have been given as a society the permission now to poke fun and make fun and to, to actually criticize publicly all of those things that YouTube commentators like yourself, like Valiant, like Nerdrotic, like all of them have been saying for years, basically. One of the fascinating things that has happened in light of this discussion about a treasure trove of emails and information, and by the way, again, folks, we're not part of any efforts to disclose that. We don't have any inside information about it. We're just reporting what an article says and dismissing the, the theories out there that uh, seem to be fantasy. Well, gentlemen, there, there does seem to be blood in the water, I suppose, because we are getting a reaction now about this treasure trove. It would seem, take a look at this if you're interested, if Lucasfilm is paying attention, I have a feeling they are, Pablo Hidalgo. You've heard that name on this channel before. Uh, Pablo says, saw a post suggesting a major corporation employs bots to reinforce my political opinions. Now, let's just, let's just stop there for a moment, uh, guys, because this is amazing to me. Gina put out this massive tweet about uh, bots and how a bot army was potentially used to take her out to damage her. And Pablo Adago is now saying, and she never alleged this, but Pablo Adago is saying that the bots were alleged to have been used to reinforce his political opinions. I'm sorry. What is it that is Pablo over all of Lucasfilm now? And is Lucasfilm... Uh, the voice of Pablo Hidalgo for political thought. I, this is one of the most bizarre tweets I've ever seen. And when you are looking at what Gina is saying, and she is setting up, I think, potentially a, a legal argument, what what in the world is Pablo Hidalgo thinking about weighing in on this? Guys, what is going on? Pro, I just, I got to say, um, the fact that he's from Winnipeg explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Look no, at this no. again, though. Saw a post suggesting a major corporation employs bots to reinforce my political opinions. He is turning that. that Gina Carano did not name, yeah. you know, with, with exact specificity who she, who she was talking about. And it's, you know, it is very difficult to imagine that there is any other person out there who has put a tweet out about bots relaying a corporate message that could then be tied into Pablo Hidalgo's own personal political opinions. It's, this is amazing that he would comment and leave it up. It's pretty amazing given that he's just, you know, like a low level gopher in Lucasfilm that, you know, people That's don't what he says. know. Yeah. Um, wow. Isn't that what Lucasfilm's become at this point? Just listen to what the boss lady says about her political opinions. Apparently they're Pablo's opinions. That's, that's what is being said here. I mean, I, I just don't think that Lucasfilm is recognizing fully, you know, what this could be. I, I, Gina appears to be confident. I don't know if you guys have noticed this in the last few days. She is really unloading and unleashing. I, I, I'm I'm flabbergasted that there are not attorneys saying to Pablo, um, maybe maybe we don't say that. Maybe we uh, stay out of this a little bit. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe we just lay low on this. We don't know what Gina has, and we don't know how she's going to relay it. We. We're not in a good position here. That's what's the other thing that's amazing to me. They're not in a good position. We just saw the Ahsoka ratings come out. Yeah. Like the sky is falling. We are getting articles, guys. We are getting articles out all over the web about how Marvel is in this terrible moment. That Marvel, you know, is, can Marvel even be saved? Marvel still makes movies. Star Wars doesn't. What does that say about Star Wars? And here you have somebody coming out at the most unadvent unadvantageous time you know this is this is not a good idea pablo not a good not a good idea lucasfilm I, I if i may he seems you know in the limited interactions that i've seen of him online and with you and with others he always talks about the fact that and in all seriousness you know my my, my point about being a gopher was uh i was trying to be a bit sarcastic but 
he always seems to say, put himself down, say he's not that big of a deal. He's not, you know, that much of a presence at Lucasfilm and whatnot. And then he goes around and puts out something like this with implications that, you know, attribute to him a lot more importance than than he says. Uh, I don't know if it's an ego thing. Is it? Um, I, I, I it, it it is a bit baffling. And I mean, and the thing with Gina too is that people have been you know going after her for some of her comments. And and I posted a tweet about it. I said, is, yeah, I cannot believe that there are people out there who are so quick to dismiss someone who has firsthand experience with lucasfilm with kathleen kitt like she has spoken with these people she's interacted with these people she has been a significant part like she's seen how they operate right and so who are you random twitterer to come along and say oh well you know she's 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 off her rocker or what have you it it's astounding i'm, I'm but, just telling me this is what astounds me i cannot believe that the political positions alleged to be lucasfilms apparently are the exact same political positions of one Pablo Hidalgo or that he believes that that's I, what we call the coinky dink. It's incredible. Let's go to some more incredible stuff. And folks, uh, it looks like bounding in the comics has a very, uh, interesting ad on the right side. Go out there and, you know, <laughs> shop oh, barely God. zero. I suppose they're not a sponsor here and we're not, we're not suggesting it, but you know, that's what it says. We read the article. Oh, that's not part of the article. It would be really um, crazy. if We started seeing WDW pro merchandise sold in their store. It would be <laughs> really random. Do. Wouldn't this it? Is when, this is when WDW Pro gets a little blue. Here's what <laughs> uh, here's what John Trent has to say in this article that may make Lucasfilm feel a little blue. In the wake of these two posts, YouTuber Drunk Three PO. Remember, folks, we told you this came from the people that it comes from. It doesn't come from uh, Bob Iger and John Favreau and some crazy conspiracy. But they noted on Culture Casino's late night culture that this. Uh, big release of emails and information would soon be made public. Now, I don't know what soon is, and there's the link, and we love Culture Casino. He is a great friend of the channel. We love Jay, Drunk 3PO, always welcome to come on, and, uh, you know, we have a great time with both of these guys. Apparently, this is what Jay had to say. The day is coming. The day is coming, and I know the day is coming, where there's a lot of emails, a lot of notes, someone is collected. And when you see this, it's going to blow your face off as to how disgusting this woman is, Kathleen Kennedy, and the people that run Lucasfilm, especially over there at the storyboard group. Now, that's, it would seem to me to be a direct shot at Pablo Hidalgo, although I would suspect Pablo Hidalgo would say he doesn't run the story group. I don't know what the veracity of that is, but um, it seems to me that Jay knows what he's talking about. I don't know what he's talking about. I'd love to know. I can't wait for something to come out. I, I just can't, you know, I can't pull the trigger on it because I don't have any access to it. <laughs> Can that day be today? <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be fun? Uh, so it says, uh, Jay said, so you guys just got a little taste of what's to come. He said later in the stream, again, there's something. There's a, there's a nuclear bomb that's coming and just be ready. All our YouTube channels will benefit once this stuff hits. I, I suppose that Kathleen Kennedy will not benefit. So, uh, gentlemen... That's uh, that's the story for today. We've got we've got this, you know, treasure trove of stuff. We don't know what's in it. Jay says it's coming. We've got Gina Carano posting like crazy, and you got Pablo Hidalgo speaking in the first person in regards to Gina's claims. And I just I, I still stand in awe that Kathleen Kennedy and Pablo Hidalgo that they make such major mistakes. It's uh, it's it's just baffling. Guys, final thoughts on this one. I will say in regards to Kathleen Kennedy, I think this whole Gina thing is going to be end up being even bigger than just what is going on with Lucasfilm, even just the Walt Disney Company, because I think a lot of people are, you know, bringing light to how bad like Kathleen Kennedy has been treating her employees and such. But the key note that I saw come out of um, one of her initial posts was how talking about how the YouTube dislike button was taken away. And has she been kind of behind the scenes, kind of pushing Google to push some certain narratives that she wants to see in regards to her franchise and what's affecting YouTube as a greater sphere. I think if that is involved in some way in those nuclear emails that are about to come out, this might be a whole new can of worms that go well beyond star Wars, Marvel and all that. Like, this could be possible like 
corporations, Google, YouTube involved. We'll have to see what lays out, but it's definitely going to impact probably every YouTuber. And Nolan, you know, I have to say, I don't know what's in this stuff, but uh, some of the things that we have heard definitely rise to the level of, and, and you, you're bringing those things up, the things that we have heard have been things like uh, manipulation of the media, manipulation of algorithms, and et cetera. If that, stump, if that stuff comes to light, you're right. This is perhaps bigger than just entertainment. Tommy, final word. I hope it does. Like, I, I really hope that this pans out um, just because of the fact that it'll serve as some type of catharsis or vindication for everything that we have been saying on YouTube. And I, I include myself in there as a, just a, a small little part of that. It, it's clear. It's really obvious that something went off the rails right after. I mean, even, maybe even during The Force Awakens, you know, as soon as you saw that movie and you realized that they had Mark Hamill come back as Luke Skywalker and you heard his comments about how you read through the script and he got to the end and he sort of said, well, wait, I have no lines in here. And that should have been, you know, the first red flag that there was something wrong. It's a heck and of a just, red flag. Yes. Yeah. And it just. It just kept getting worse and worse. And you have all these apologists, these people who, I guess, you know, the Lucasfilm version of Pixie Dusters, which is a term, you know, that often is used for, for uh, some Disney fans. But you also, you know, have the potential manipulation of the media, like Nolan said, Rotten Tomatoes, you have YouTube removing the dislike button. You've got all of these sort of corporate enterprises lining up. And I mean, the mainstream media, of course, all. It, with the goal of circling the wagons around Disney and Lucasfilm and protecting the narrative at all costs, people gaslighting us, saying that we're crazy for noticing these things. Like, why are like, you know, that, that it's just that everything is fine. The house is on fire, but no, 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 it's not. Uh, everything is good. And for something like this to come out, I think it would be, it would be really, you know, uh, it would be great to see. I think, and I, I, I cannot wait, and I really hope this this pans out. But on the flip side, if anything, the the most recent articles that we've seen regarding Marvel from Variety, that we've seen regarding uh, Star Wars, it, it just goes to show you that you could take the most hard, objective, factual evidence and slam it in the face of the shall we say the disney lucasfilm fans and they will still turn their noses at it and say that it's wrong and that it's fake news and whatnot so will it help to convince people's minds i don't know like i mean i think people are pretty entrenched in their positions i would hope so uh i, I really would crazy how some people go to wikipedia which can be edited by several different people before actually doing their own research and trying yeah. to find out what's actually going on with the situation. Heck, uh, HBO's CEO or whoever just literally admitted to um, uh, having people oh, like either bots or having like employees like putting on a facade in order to counter the flames of YouTubers and crazy the world we live in now. But it turns out that despite all those efforts, the market still reigns supreme and Disney has been unable to force all of us to go watch their drivel. And so, folks, we are arriving at this point now where we await finding out exactly to what extent all of this goes. Did Kathleen Kennedy go far beyond the halls of Lucasfilm and actually go out into you know, uh, affecting the way that news coverage happens and the way that uh, all of this is able to be spoken about online? We don't know yet. We're waiting to find out. Can Gina Carano, if she so wishes, get some of this information out there? Can it be done ethically, legally, etc.? Well, we would never recommend anyone do anything that's not uh, both of those at the same time. But folks, we need your opinion now. Let us know down in the comments below what you think. Do you believe that Pablo Hidalgo stepped in it by putting his tweet into the first person in what surely any logical person would have to conclude fairly is in reference to Gina Carano's statements? Boy, what a thing if that uh, turns out to be a major mistake for Lucasfilm. Let us know your thoughts. Like, share, subscribe. And when you click it, you stick it to the algorithms. It's the notification bell. Folks, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, keep learning, keep growing, and keep having fun.
This is Wilton the Troll reporting for That's Park Place, and I'm surrounded by loving and adoring people who are peacefully trying to make sure that poor kids aren't cold in the winter. And just behind me, you can see a totally natural bonfire for making cookies or making marshmallows. Yeah, so, Wilson, we're, we're really appreciate the effort and stuff, but uh, we're looking for real and, you know, accurate news reporting <laughs> on that park place. So, not like most news outlets, huh? No. 